So we're here at uh, Arm Tech Con 2011. And uh, so what is the status with uh, OMAP 5? OMAP 5 is going well. Uh, we told, uh, I guess in February, we announced the OMAP 5 platform and we have. Uh, it's basically being baked now. Uh, we'll have it out of the oven here shortly. So as we said, uh, by the end of this year, we'll have OMAP 5 samples and we'll be showcasing some really impressive demos with it uh, in the near term. So what does it mean, it's being baked? It's, uh, it's in the foundry. It's in the foundry. So it's close to, uh, close to samples. Close to samples. Uh, is it going to be in products earlier than you thought? Uh, we're right on track. We're right on track, what we said. So we said samples, uh, second half this year, and products uh, for Christmas of next year. Christmas of next so year. So we're on track for that, yes. And with the OMAP 4, you have uh, several announcements and very big announcements big in the last announcements. Few, few weeks. Definitely. And they all kind of came within uh, within the day. Two of them came within one day. So last uh, last Wednesday, it was announced about the, uh, first of all, Motorola announced the uh, Droid Razor, which is the thinnest 4G phone on the market. And uh, it's a very impressive product. Uh, it's also one that includes our Netflix capability, which we're the only platform certified uh, for 1080p HD uh, content streaming from Netflix to an Android device. So uh, this will be the first, uh, first phone that actually brings that to market, the Droid Razor, based on the 4430. Now, several hours later, the same day, uh, Google announced the, uh, the, the Samsung uh, Galaxy Nexus, which is the first ice cream sandwich. Uh, Android 4.0, which is based on our next generation 4460. So the M4460 uh, gives us a boost in performance in CPU. Uh, that one's a 1.2 gigahertz. We support up to 1.5 gigahertz with that device. Uh, upgraded graphics speed, uh, giving an increase of performance on the graphics also. So uh, the nice thing about our roadmap is we have the 4430, the 4460, and then next year we'll bring out the 4470. All those devices are pin for pin compatible, software compatible, which allows our customers to move very quickly with the, the latest and greatest technology. Might it be that when you use more megahertz frequency, it uses more power? Well, yeah, it scales, the frequency and power. Although, an interesting thing is when we went from 4430 to 4460, we did optimized design in the Cortex-A9, so we actually are able to get higher performance uh, uh, than we did before, which allows us at the same frequency, say one gigahertz, to run at one gigahertz at a lower power. So uh, we get better power than we did with the 4430, and the upside is we can go up to 1.5 gigahertz also, because the, the design has been optimized. Is the 4470 going to use a smaller process node? No. All these, are, all these are on 45, uh, 45 nanometer. Our OMAP 5, which we're sampling this year, is 28 nanometer. So how big a work was it to, uh, to work with Google on ice cream sandwich and making it optimized? It, it, was, a, it was a big effort. You know, we've been working with, uh, with Google for, for quite a long time on this uh, close interaction. A lot of optimizations to take advantage of all of the, uh, the, the hardware opportunities that we present to kind of give full enablement to give the best processing experience uh, that you can get. So yeah, it takes a lot of interaction between the, the TI and the Google teams uh, to bring that experience to, to market. Do you, do you see it as possibility that people will do the, like you do sometimes demonstration of running Android and running uh, Ubuntu out, yeah, out there yeah. and stuff like that? Is that possible with yeah, Ice Cream yeah. Sandwich? Yeah, it's, so actually it, outside of that, the, uh, the virtualization software, so we work with several uh, different virtualization companies and they offer that capability so I could have, and actually one of the interesting use cases that have dual Android, so I could have a corporate you know, enterprise uh, uh, environment working in parallel yes, with the uh, uh, my personal profile and have two Androids in parallel that don't interact and, uh, and keep separate environments, which is important for the corporate environment and also for your personal information. So we see those types of things happening down the road where you see more of these dual uh, dual OS or dual profiles happening on these types of devices. Are we definitely going to see uh, 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 OMAP for laptops? Oma 4 and set the box on TV? Yes, definitely. For sure. For sure. Those yes. things are in work. And of course, we announced the, uh, the Windows 8, so you'll see Windows 8 devices, uh, both in uh, clamshell and tablet type uh, styles with, uh, with OMAP 4470 uh, running Windows 8 in 2012. So that, nice. uh, that's coming. And there are other products. We've actually expanded our business uh, beyond, uh, beyond smartphones and tablets. You know, we have four business lines now that go into enterprise, consumer, industrial, the mobile communications, and the mobile computing. So you'll start to see OMAP 4 proliferate across multiple markets. Are we going to see Ubuntu, Chrome OS? You'll see multiple OSs, yeah. Our, our main focus has been Android, 
uh, and uh, and Windows 8, but we're also working yes. with the Chrome the Chrome team also. And of course, RIM uh, is working QNX, uh, so we have QNX running uh, on OMAP also. Uh, so we're pretty much across the board.